There are a lot of so-called truthers that think they are close to the truth when they don't understand everything they've been told, everything they thought they knew was true is nothing more than a lie. They can figure out some things are a lie, such as 9-11, the Boston bombing, so-called Boston bombing, Sandy Hook, and so forth. They don't, again, understand everything they're told is nothing but a lie. And that also includes, as I've said, stated many times, the so-called ball earth. Let's take a look at the foundation when it comes to Freemasonry. Of course, an international organization. And why do they use the so-called square, which is a measuring tool, and the compass? Okay, a square, first off, it has four corners, and this one doesn't. Okay, let's take a look here from the Bible, Job 26.10. The of God, he hath compassed the waters with bounds until the day and night comes to an end. So the concept of a compass, as you see here, this is the foundation of the world we live in. Okay, You have the circle within a square and the ice ring that surrounds the flat earth. Okay, The compass, and these are your bounds with a compass. This is the entire foundation, of course. The concept of pillars as well is huge when it comes to Freemasonry. It's very simple once you understand the Bible. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he hath set the world upon them. Okay, But this is how they do it. With Freemasonry, instead of putting God up here, they put Lucifer. Instead of a flat earth, they put a ball earth. This is how they do it. It's all about duality, as you see right in front of you, with the black and white. Okay, All about duality. Now, taking a look here also at this Bible verse, just before I do so, again, the circle within the square from Revelation 7, 1, about, talks about the four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Okay, A ball earth obviously does not have corners. This is the true concept representation of the biblical flat earth. Okay, let's move on here to these images and these Freemasons that have conceived this phony baloney ball earth. Take a look here at this artwork going back in time. Of course, you can see the ball earth, the moon, and the so-called Milky Way. This goes back to 1918. This was all conceived by Freemason Vladislaw Benda. Okay, let's take a look here again at the, at the details. Earth with the Milky Way and moon, 1918. How do they know how the so-called ball earth looked like going back in time when the very first so-called photo of the ball earth was from 1946, okay? It's only a partial image. And give me a break. Look at these clouds. Look at this supposed shadow on the ball earth. It's a complete joke, okay? These masons came up with the whole entire concept. I'll show some more details here once again with this supposed concept. Here's the details again from 1918. It's done with charcoal and originally appeared in March 1918 edition of Cosmopolitan along with an article titled The Future of the Earth. Okay? This is your future, the future of the Earth. <laughs> going back to 1918, the whole entire concept. I'm going back also in time as well here with Universal Pictures. From 1927 to 1936, this was their logo that appeared before movies played. Okay, Again, pre-1946, before the supposed first photo of the ball earth. And how, how is it possible so accurate with current day globes? Okay, Just look at this teacher basically brainwashing these children. Understand, she's unknowingly doing this. She was also taught years ago that we live in a ball. So it's passed on from generation to generation to generation, the lies. Same entire concept. You go to your dentist and all dentists believe fluoride is good for you. And why is that? Because the government tells you so. They read the information, they read the pamphlets, they read the literature. Look what it says here. This is government's official website, the cdc.gov fluoridation. Brush with fluoride toothpaste. Visit the dentist regularly. Drink water with fluoride. So the same people that understand the whole entire concept of fluoride not being good for you 
they can't get away from the lies of this phony bo baloney ball earth. You ask your teacher, how does water stick to the bottom of the ball earth? And they just simply tell you gravity. And you say, okay, well, everybody else believes it, so I guess it must be true. Just because everybody else believes it. Now, I talk about truth in movies and lies in the news in the school textbooks. Here's a perfect example going back to 1983 with this TV series called V for Visitors. You see the Supreme Leader Diana and what does she have right in front of her. Let's take a closer look. You have the four corners, you have the dome, the firmament, and you see the sun and the moon within, and you see the circular motion within. This is flat out mockery. Okay? Same entire concept where it states in the Bible, once again, as I shown before, it says from, from the very beginning of the Bible in Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons. So if you are a Bible believer, and you read this verse, and you still go along with science, that the sun and the moon you know, are in distant space, with the sun supposedly being 93 million miles away, and the moon being 238,000 miles away, you are rejecting God's word. What does the Bible say about rejecting God's word? From Jose 4, 6, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. So again, you substitute what science tells you in all their textbooks about evolution. You understand that's a lie, but for some reason you're going to go along with what science says and reject God's word. Okay, that's what it all comes down to. Look how these Masons love to mock those that own and control our society. Let's take a look here. This is a cross street of Ventura in LA. They have Furman Avenue. <laughs> this is exactly how they mock. People are driving by the street, you know, every day, night, going to their nine to five job and are clueless to what's right in front of them. Now, the question I get asked daily, why would they lie to us? about living on a ball earth when we actually live on a flat earth. It's all about trying to disprove God. The ball earth concept basically supports the theory of evolution with the Big Bang. Basically, from an explosion, was the exact opposite of creation. An explosion destroys things. It does not create things. The whole idea from the Big Bang, how this world supposedly formed, and how it constantly spins, at the same rate of speed year after year. Again, it's all about supporting the theory of evolution, trying to disprove God, make this believe, again, that we came from this supposed explosion. Now, I'm going to move on a bit to this topic about the flat Earth. Okay, let's take a look here at this graphic by David from Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. Basically talks about fly paths, on the so-called Southern Hemisphere, you don't have any flights from Johannesburg, South Africa, directly across the, the ocean to Australia or New Zealand. They always connect up and come straight back down. Why would they, why would they do this? If you're an airline company, you would take the shortest route possible. To You want to maximize your profits. Why would you have your, your passengers take the longest route? It's not cost efficient. It makes absolutely no sense. Now let's take a look here as well. And take a look here. When you when it comes down to it, this is exactly what's taking place and why they do what they do. There's no shortcuts. You must basically pass through. There's no alternative unless you want to loop around, which makes no sense. Okay, this is why they do what they do. And of course, this is the UN logo with 33 segments. This will happens to be a model of the flat Earth as well. Now, taking a look at this website, Flat Radar 24. These are real time. You know, live air traffic, again, you're going to see in the Northern Hemisphere, it does not affect the Northern Hemisphere when it comes to these, these plane flights. Just take a look at the Southern Hemisphere, the so-called Southern Hemisphere. You're not going to see any flights from Southern South America to Africa or South Africa to Australia. Look at this for hours and hours. And all you're going to see is planes crossing the Northern Atlantic 
as far as the Indian Ocean and South Atlantic Ocean, you're not going to see any. Look at all these planes. You can click on a plane and look at the exact details on the sidebar. I'm not showing it on, on this. I just want to keep this, this view condensed down, but you can see it on the left side for if you want to take a look at that and look at all the details. But again, you spend hours and hours looking, watching, and you won't see a plane cross the supposed southern hemisphere. Again, it's all about, let's take a look here, this image. Once again, as I shown earlier, and you'll understand why. Okay, Straight point, the shortest point, there's no shortcuts, but from South Africa, you must cross basically through the Middle East to get to Australia. Connect, if you want to get to New Zealand, connect from, say, Sydney to New Zealand. So exactly why they do this. It all makes sense. Take a look once again. You know, keep it here for just for a little bit. You'll see, for example, a plane. If you track a plane long enough, say, for example, from Brazil or Argentina, and it'll stay on the sidebar, the destination is South Africa. Again, you will not see it cross the Southern Atlantic. What would happen is it'll just automatically show up, basically, in the destination time. You'll just see that plane icon show up, but you won't see it cross, just like you'll see this plane right here crossing from the United States to Europe. Okay, why is that? Again, very simple to see for those that have eyes to see. Again, just like I shown earlier, no shortcuts on the flat earth. Let's cross, for example, again, Argentina will come straight across. So if you're going to Africa, that's how it works. And again, from South Africa to Australia, exact reason why. Okay, so there you go. Very easily explained. And again, you can go to Name of this website is flightradar24.com. Watch this for hours, for days, all you want. You're not going to see any plane supposedly crossing the southern hemisphere. There are those that claim that Polaris or the North Star proves that we live in a ball. Since you supposedly can't see Polaris from the so-called southern hemisphere. First off, let's take a look at this model in motion. This bogus model, supposedly how the ball Earth orbits around the sun at 70,000 miles an hour as the moon orbits around the earth. I mean, give me a break. The supposed astronauts that went to the moon in 1969, how do they fly off this spinning ball while it's moving at 70,000 miles an hour and just so happen to land on this rotating moving moon? Makes absolutely no sense. It would drift off as the earth supposedly is traveling at 70,000 miles an hour. Now, let's take a look here. Again, at the supposed southern hemisphere, you can forget about this entire model. But the reason, basically, they have the southern hemisphere at this point. Of course, you're going to have the North Star above the supposed, the so-called North Pole. Let's take a look here at this bogus, this bogus claim how Polaris is so high up in the sky when it's not. The whole entire concept is basically from this region. Again, you cannot see the North Star or Polaris, and that's because from this range on the flat Earth model, you go around, you cannot see Polaris because it's all about perspective. Okay, so That's what it's all about. And many people try to come to conclusions with numbers that are given to us that are nothing more than lies. I mean, you actually believe we live on this spinning ball with the sur supposed circumference at 25,000 miles, a little bit under 25,000 miles, in the radius only at, and that's from the core to the top, each any side, 3,959 miles. That's it from the very top to the core. That's exactly why you're deceived. You don't understand these numbers. They're a complete joke. Just fabricated numbers. I was talking about truth in movies and lies in the news. Here's another example from the 1984 movie. Take a listen to what it said here. Because we control the mind. Reality is inside the skull, Winston. We control the laws of nature. The stars are not light years, but a few kilometers away. If we wished, we could blot them out. That's what it all comes down to. Only a few kilometers away, not light years away like we're told. Now, let's take a look at this model, as I've shown many times, of the flat Earth. It's basically how the sun goes over. There's no concept of the moon, but how the sun revolves around the flat Earth. Now, if you live 
Say, for example, in California, of course, each morning the sun comes from the East Coast. Okay? Then it goes over California, for example. It does not go over or around the supposed ball. It just goes out of sight. Due to perspective, it appears to go around a ball. It's not. It's just circling around the flat Earth. That's all it's doing. Okay? From your perspective, it looks like it's going down. It's not. It's like it's sinking. It's not. From, again, perspective, just like a row of telephone poles. They're all the same height, but due to perspective, you cannot see the bottom portion of the legs. Not because they're no longer there, just because, again, you only can see so far. That's what it all comes down to. Now, the entire concept, as i shown before as well, people say, well, this can't be possible. You have daylight you know, and night at the same time. The whole flat earth should be illuminated. It's not the case. The sun, again, just like Polaris, they're much, much closer than we're told, as I've shown before. In this footage, as you can see here at night, this Alaska cruise, this guy here, let me go to the start here. This guy's in his, basically his cabin. He peers out. And there you go. There's the moon. He pans over. There's your daytime right there. Okay, pans over to the left. There's your daytime. If you keep going further, further down, you're eventually going to see the sun. It's just basically, again, the whole concept of the sun, as I've shown here, revolving around the flat Earth. Show this again here. Get to that point. There's your day, and there's your night. You go slow. Simple as that. All easily explained once you understand the whole entire concept. And the reason, again, people believe what they do believe. Is, again, they, they can't get past all the lies. They think they're smart enough to figure out they've been lied to about some things when they don't understand they've been lied to about everything by these Masons that own and control this whole entire world.